If you're on the move a lot, you'll be used to long periods of time without the internet. Whether it's just another long haul flight or overnight bus ride, or just too much time spent on the subway where radio waves fear to tread, having no Wi-Fi or cell service is common, even in this day and age. Thankfully, not having a signal doesn't mean you can't play some of the best mobile games on the market. Here are the 13 best high graphics mobile games that you can play completely offline. Now without further ado, let's get started. Psst, hey, if you're new around here, please subscribe. Starting off at number 13, we have Infinite Bomber 3D. This game was created for those of you who want to see constant annihilation and destruction. Although it's not a finished game, there are infinite procedurally generated levels that you can play on. The map size keeps on increasing and increasing with every level, which gives you a sense of open world experience. All of that in a procedurally generated map. Your goal is to bomb down enemies like armored vehicles, tanks, buggies, and of course, air defense buildings that are constantly shooting shells and bullets and missiles at you. You'll have to avoid and dodge missiles in 3D space, something no other game lets you experience. At number 12, we have Risen Dawn. In this mobile game, perform simple and complex parkour tricks to your favorite music. Here you'll play as Risen. He's a streamer who broadcasts his parkour skills and receives income from it. Now you'll have a chance to become a popular streamer that shows its viewers cool elements of parkour in real time. Start with the training mode to master the controls, which are quite convenient. In this, you'll learn how to perform various elements of parkour, such as flips, tackles, jumps with rotation, and much more. The character can not only do tricks, but even dance using the in-game system of emotions. Breaking into number 11, we have 3 2 1 Shootout! This is a dynamic first-person shooter with low-poly graphics, which not only looks very solid and high quality, but also successfully conveys the impression of action in a futuristic setting. The space station, the surface of other planets, and other similar locations will suddenly become a battlefield for our character and dozens or even hundreds of opponents. Various types of weapons, convenient controls, dangerous opponents that wisely hide and use their arsenal, as well as long duration will please all fans of exciting shooting games without exception. Now at number 10 is Mad Heroes. Mad Heroes is an action and adventure game where you'll play as an armed character to vanquish all of the adversaries in every level. To do this, you'll have access to different futuristic rifles and pistols to shoot every rival with. In Mad Heroes, you'll have lots of characters to go into every battle with. In the beginning, you'll only have access to some operations, but as you level up, you'll have access to increasingly more with a variety of characteristics. On top of that, you'll see all of the weapons and drones available to you that you'll use to open fire against your rivals. Moving on to number 9, we have Crossfire. Crossfire is a first-person shooter that very successfully copies the famous representative of multiplayer shooters. With zombies, mysticism, and other and competing players, here too, participants will have to survive, complete tasks, eliminate opponents, escape from traps, and so on. Rewards will provide an opportunity to upgrade your arsenal and equipment, which will be very useful when completing missions in the future. The project will please you with very attractive graphics and user-friendly controls. That along with other features makes the game a great way to spend your free time. Coming in at number 8, we have Death Park 2. Death Park 2 is an awesome game with a first-person view. Here you'll find yourself in a cursed city filled with creepy monsters and mystical creatures. There you have to save your sister who's a prisoner of the clown Pennywise and solve the mystery of the Park of Death. Of course, first you need to try to stay alive yourself. During the entire game, you'll find yourself in 8 different locations, where you'll have to fight crowds of different monsters, shooting them with shotguns, machine guns, pistols, or just fight back with a that. In addition to battles, you'll need to solve a lot of puzzles to be able to explore locked doors or find out the way to further explore the area. You're gonna die now, 
Next up at number 7 we have Downhill Extreme 2. Downhill Extreme is back with a whole new gaming experience. Compete with others from around the world as you race through epic locations in North America, the tropics, and Europe. Experience the rush of drifting around corners at high speed as you try to perfect the fastest track time. And while setting the fastest time is important, grab extra points for drifting, hitting the apex, and reaching max speed. Race through beautifully rendered mountain roads from the heat of the tropics to the snow-covered mountaintops. Every detail of this gravity racer is accurately simulated, so you experience every lump, bump, twist, and turn of the road beneath your board. Down to number 6 we have Just Survive Arc. This is an action survival game shot in first person where players control a castaway lost on a seemingly deserted island. Each day is a struggle, but surviving for even a second longer is a tiny victory. Starting out on the island is no simple task. All you get are a couple of very rudimentary tools from the get-go, but as you advance little by little, you can access an enormous arsenal with bows, arrows, hunting rifles, shotguns, and much more. If you face off against a boar or aggressive mutant, you'll need to use an axe made out of rocks, which is obviously a needless risk. But if you're lucky, you'll get to use a shotgun, which is clearly more efficient. Moving on to number 5, we have Extreme Motorbikes. This is an incredibly dynamic and realistic racing game on cool sports motorcycles. Here you can feel the exciting feelings of freedom that you get from insanely high speeds when riding powerful bikes. Take part in exciting races, perform stunts, and become a real biker. At your disposal will be a huge city location without restrictions on movement. At first, you will be able to ride only one motorcycle, but over time, you'll discover dozens of other models that differ significantly in the nature of driving, physical performance, and of course, appearance. To do this, you have to perform dangerous stunts and pass exciting tasks. Next up at number 4 we have Battle Ops. Join the military and see if you can break up enemy squadrons in the FPS Battle Ops. Use the weapons you find as you beat missions to take on all the bloodthirsty enemies. Battle Ops has 3D graphics and a great soundtrack that will submerge you in the action. This game also features various offline playing modes where you can compete in exciting raids and fire incessantly on all the enemies that cross your path. Another great feature of Battle Ops is its intuitive controls. Simply use the virtual joystick to move your character and use the action buttons to jump, reload, or use new weapons that will make you even more powerful. Coming in at number 3 we have Hello Guest. Hello Guest is a stealth horror thriller about an advanced self-learning AI. You take the night shift as a security guard at an abandoned Golden Apple amusement park, where a creature is hiding in the shadows. You must take risks to protect and secure the furthest corners of the park from vandals. The AI-powered creature learns from your movements. It's afraid of the light and always approaches from behind. The game features an evolving experience where the creature's AI watches you and will combine sandbox gameplay with some dastardly puzzles and platforming challenges. Next up at number 2 we have Car X Rally. This is a racing project that continues an excellent series of representatives of the genre of rally competitions. Beautiful graphics, detailed tracks, a variety of conditions and factors affecting the behavior of the car, realistic physics in conjunction with pleasant controls, and much more saturates the gameplay and provides gamers with an exciting pastime. They are free to choose their career path, the brand of the car, the tactics of its pumping, and so on. In any case, they're waiting for fascinating and dynamic gameplay that requires a return and lightning-fast reaction for the sake of winning first places. And finally, at number 1 we have SpongeBob SquarePants. In this game for mobile devices, you'll play as a character from the cartoon SpongeBob, who runs through a colorful, surreal world made in full 3D. It is worth noting that graphics in the game are better than in the cartoon. In your journey, you'll have to go through a variety of locations and obstacles. The world is made suedo open, and despite the rather linear plot, there is relative freedom in passing, and the game itself resembles a chain of quests. The player is waiting for various unpleasant mobs and treasures with boosters.
So that's it, you guys. If you found a game that you like, then please go to our description box. We have all of the links of all of the games we featured in this video. And if the game that you like isn't featured on this video, then please go to the comment section and rage it out. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time right here on Android Tools. Till then, bye-bye. <laughs>